Hmm. Nice. Got some kick. Different bottle on that one. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Miss Talk. Welcome back from our Grand Theft Auto Online. Here we are back in the club. Studio Los Santos. Club's still popping down there. But not enough. As you can see, our, our popularity bar has dropped down to just under three. That's not good. And it has been dropping down fast. I don't know. I wonder if it is different in the public sessions versus the uh, invite. Didn't seem, well, it seemed too fast, but it didn't seem as bad as it does now. But I've also been doing a whole lot of sales and stuff, so I wasn't keeping track as good as I should have, could have. <laughs> but that's okay. I guess. Hopefully they'll fix that popularity bar to be a little bit more resilient. Mm, I could definitely use that. Or two thumbs down to that. Well, let's do another pro uh, promotion mission. I do need to get 10 to uh, get the unlock price on the blimp, so might as well keep them going. I think this is our ninth one. All right. We've got some player visits, so <laughs> probably Midnight Spars and others. Possibly. Hmm. Well. I guess it doesn't tell us on this part. And yeah, night juggle jobs completed eight. So this is our ninth one here. All right. Let's see what we get this time. Something we've done before or something new. Drop flyers to promote okay. the nightclub. If we want to get the word out for this club, we're gonna have to do some flyering. Flyering on an industrial scale. We're gonna pick up a chopper, fly out, and airdrop marketing all over this city. Did you, uh, this guy's messing with the nightclub owner. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> That'll uh, make some headlines for our new nightclub. <laughs> can we get up this way? Looks like we can. So I've never done this mission before. I've heard about this. So it's probably going to be a chrome helicopter. Promotion area. Zero out of eight. All right. Now you can do these promotion missions, as we've said before, on invite-only sessions or private sessions. You don't need to do them public and take the risk. Now that said, I am in a public session, I think. <laughs> but nobody's with me, so it's a good safe time to do it. Yeah, that's a very blingy helicopter. Drop the flyers over the promotional areas. Tony says, now that you're in the heli, just head to locations on your GPS and make the drops. Okay. All right, well, we know all about making drops in a buzzard. All my MC business training has prepared me for this moment. <laughs> I still don't get why the nightclub owner has to do all this himself. There we go. Flyers away. All right. I'm sure the uh, city staff will enjoy the cleanup tomorrow. <laughs> Just kind of getting an idea where they all are on the map there. So we've got to hit eight promotional areas. All right, we've already hit one. And it looks like there's all eight on the map, so there's no extras or anything like that. Good news if they give you alternates, kind of like the stunt runs in the uh, hangar missions, if you guys ever remember seeing those ones or in them yourself. Well, the flyers at the airport. Come to Studio Los Santos. <laughs> Wonder where we keep this shiny, blingy helicopter. <laughs> Very blingy. <laughs> well, hopefully this one helps that bar a little bit. Because that is a sad, sad bar. But yeah, another simple mission for the uh, nightclub. No real adversaries as long as nobody bugs you. So that's cool. fly around in the buzzard and there's plenty of time too I think that's a 20 minute timer so plenty of time so you don't have to hurry around like I am kind of you could uh, take your time if you want to or if you're uh, not the greatest pilot just kind of get it over the area and hit the button and drop them and take your time moving across back to the others and in a buzzard you can hit pause you might want to get some altitude first make sure you're not heading towards a building or anything. But yeah. It'll kind of hover there for a minute. So, 
you can have a look at stuff. I know when you're getting in the game, that's a little bit of a weird thing at first time, <laughs> pausing while you're while you're in flight. But helicopters, it's not so bad at all. And the plane, it's a or a jet or something, it's a little whole different thing. You can still do it, but it's it's you gotta be quick. <laughs> That's where it's handy sometimes having a teammate hit the GPS for you. When you're uh, piloting your way around, anyway. Alright, so some nighttime promotions for our nighttime after hours nightclub. Mission number nine. Yeah, we got a bunch of different missions, I think. I think I've only done a couple repeats so far. I think I've done the. Uh, I've uh, beat up the developers. In their cars with the bats. I got that mission a couple times. But there seems to be a variety of different missions you can get. So that's good at least. Entertaining. Alright, our last drop. Not bad. So at first I, I thought this mission was a bit big like the other ones. Eight drops, you know. But actually the helicopter's right there. It's not too bad. You hop right in. And uh, away we go, and looks like it takes us about 5 minutes. So I'd give this mission a 5 to 10 minute time, so that's really not too long, comparatively speaking. Not as long as I would have guessed. Yeah, a little shorter. It helps to make some kind of a route, kind of a circle, if you can. And save time going back and forth, back and forth. Alright, last drop. Come see Studio Los Santos! <laughs> Best club in Los Santos. <laughs> a lot of Los Santos there. <laughs> All right, and the cash is two thousand five hundred. All right. Yep, and the cash is pretty low. Some would call that littering. I would call that promoting <laughs> the best club in Los Santos. Great job. <laughs> yep. Well, those uh, cleanup staff are gonna see our flyers and come to the club. <laughs> Spend your money here after you're done cleaning up all these flyers. <laughs> Maybe we'll give them a free drink when they show up. Maybe. <laughs> all right, and then it looks like we got ourselves a brand, brand new, awesome chromey helicopter to use temporarily <laughs> for all your chrome buzzard needs. You can fly around and use it until you restart the game. <laughs> yep, there she is, very blingy. <laughs> Very cool. As far as the mission goes, that's not too bad, I guess. You know, these missions are mixed, as we said. Well, you know, I don't know. They get a bad name, and I, I give them a bad name too, like a bad reputation. They're not the greatest missions, but they're really easy. You know, and you can do them invite only, which is nice compared to the other stuff. Um, what car is this? Where's my car? Oh, that's not my car. I was say that's not my last car. Oh, I had my off-road out. Ah. Yeah, but if the uh, if the payouts were better, and if and better yet, if the uh, popularity bar was better and stayed up higher, then these missions wouldn't be too bad at all. If you ask me. So I think that's the main problem is that that purple bar just doesn't go up high enough. And another thing I've said in the comments and things like that is if it was more like the MC supplies, like some people have said, you know, so that randomly you could get different amounts, you know, two bars of the purple, full bar of your purple, one bar of your purple, you know, that'd be a little bit better too, if you ask me, rather than just constantly. Uh, a third of a block, maybe, and half a block if you're lucky. Yeah. Ah, and the piss bosser uh, truck that we got back from the MZ. Yeah, the lost MZ taking our booze. Damn guys, always messing with our stuff. <laughs> Bikers! <laughs> Uh, for those that remember, Trevor in the game likes to yell out. And actually, later on, after you finish that part of the storyline, every time he sees bikers randomly on the street, he'll just yell that out, Bikers! <laughs> it's hilarious. Because you'll be just playing your game, like doing your thing or doing whatever, and he'll just yell this out. <laughs> at the ones that you didn't even notice until he yelled at them. Yeah. Yeah, lots of one of the many little things about the game and the single player and stuff. It's pretty cool. All right, so there's a popularity bar, so it definitely fixed it. That's good. It's over three bars, so that one's not too bad. At least that one mission seems to be one of those um, half um, square missions, which unfortunately is the, the more generous type of missions. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Yeah. Well, 
we'll find out more ways and see if Rockstar maybe makes that a little bit better in the future. Well, maybe one more, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe I won't let you guys go yet. Maybe we'll do two. Because there's a lot of these missions and I don't want to fill our list with a whole bunch of these. But at the same time, they are all different. Oh, security camera. I can say, what did I press? <laughs> So let's log in and do another popularity mission. So as you guys just seen, hopefully, as I imagine, I'll put these together. We'll, uh, we just did that Chrome um, helicopter mission, Chrome Buzzard mission for the very first time. Although I had heard about that one. So nine jobs completed. Nightclub's earnings, 200,000. Where is earnings? 400,000 and seven. Hmm. We haven't been doing much of that, so it's starting to grow now. We should check in on that, actually. Gotta get our document and forgeries. It looks like they're filling up fast again. Hmm. It's not bad. I think. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, they got some stuff going on. Not as fast as other things, though. But it is an add-on. Like I said, icing to the business, not a business itself. Well, it is a business itself, but I think you guys know what I mean. Along with your other businesses, it does better. That's for sure. Hmm. <laughs> And we're going to play with resetting our DJs too to see if it's a good way for cheap money to get your popularity up. In the meantime, it's going to be mission, promotion mission number 10. Away we go, promoting Studio Los Santos. What do we got today? All right, three long decades in this business, mm. and one thing is still true. Nightclubs run on booze. And no matter how much we charge, the cheaper we can get it, the better. Bring yeah. in the shipment of champagne I've located, and I'll make sure we've got people here to drink it. All right. Yeah, we should take our nightclub truck, but that's okay. Oh, well, we're going to the country anyway. <laughs> I actually should be flying at this point. This is a good time for a buzzard. Or something better. So click the supplies. Very cool. More booze to the club. Yeah, this is our one of our newer additions to the garage. Even though it's a classic vehicle for GGA. The Sand King. This one's the SWV. Which I made our one of our off-roaders. Just a classic big truck off-roader. Yep. I like it. You can take a beating. And I find if you get the, the uh, stunt cage, maybe it's just the vehicle, but I find that you really don't get a lot of damage driving around in this vehicle. So some vehicles, if you do a lot of head-on collisions, you'll, you'll damage yourself, get a lot of uh, health deteriorating. Yeah, depends on the vehicle, but certain vehicles, if you're crashing down the mountain, you can actually you know, do a lot of uh, injury to your character, I guess you could say. But I've noticed in the Sand King, maybe I'm just lucky, but so far, crashing around Sand King doesn't seem to do any damage, if, if any at all, really. So, you know, the Sand King might get beaten up, but it seems to protect the, uh, the occupant pretty good. Now, of course, this is just a regular vehicle. You're better off, you know, protecting the occupant, you're better off in an armored vehicle of some sort, obviously. But sometimes you just want to drive all your latest vehicle, your latest race car, your latest truck. <laughs> I like this truck. So it makes me think of Back to the Future. Makes me, I don't know, it's not the right truck for it either. But it makes me think of Marty McFly's truck. And the garage that he's waiting to get, the black one. And uh, I think he sees it downtown too. And he wants to get it. And in the changed future, he does have it. But it's not this truck, it's actually the Karen Rebel. Um, would be the better choice in black. But to me, this is like that truck on steroids. <laughs> if that truck had a bigger brother. Yeah, this would be it. When you do it up black like this, black on black, it just looks nice. Yeah. I like it. It's functional off-road. We've kept it high clearance so that it can go off-road no problem. We've avoided those low bumpers. Yep. But at the same time, she still looks good. Like a... Yeah, like a showy off-road truck. As opposed to our nightclub truck, the XL, Sand King XL, which we did up as a kind of a city SUV, city truck, you know. A big city beast. 
Excuse me. <laughs> Nightclub management coming through. <laughs> There'd be booze over here. Oh, oh, I would have jumped really good over there, but not so much there. But oh well. You catch some jumps and you and you hit others. <laughs> They don't mind when I drive through. <laughs> Everybody awake? <laughs> Morning. <laughs> uh, just for the fun of it, I drove through there. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Oh no, slow down, slow down, same thing. Oh, she gets eager sometimes, you know. Down, girl, down. So it looks like this time around we don't have any MC, lost MC defending this. That's good. Let's go switch weapons, but don't think we need to. Oh, well, we might get some opponents um, when we hit the road. Hmm. Well, it's yeah, we got a big truck. We'll double park like a total ass. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do with big trucks like that, I think. <laughs> so I've seen. <laughs> All right, so. Away we go. To the nightclub garage. Away, beer truck. Away. Uh, uh, uh. You got the truck? Good. You're clearing fragile cargo. So there's so oh, there's make it back here as fast as you can, but without causing too much damage to the bottles. All right. So we got a supplies health bar in the bottom right corner. Got a timer. Now we're on the map. But remember, you don't need to be on a public session. You can do these in an invite only or a private session, so you don't even have to worry about other people. So at this point... I think all I have to worry about is uh, is terrible driving NPCs and my own terrible driving, <laughs> causing damage and supplies. And I would imagine that the more damage you take, the, the less popularity you would get. I would guess, but it's really hard to say sometimes. <laughs> yep. Crash this? No way. This is a beer truck. <laughs> But apparently it's got supplies in there today. Or, uh, supplies, um, champagne. I think is what he said, right? Champagne? Yeah, I think it was champagne. So, free champagne. And we might still have opponents. I don't know, you never know. Sometimes they send guys after you. But I was just thinking, it's kind of odd. Well, he sourced it for us, but I mean, no opponents, no nothing. We don't pay anything, we just pick it up and take it. <laughs> well, then again, it was parked at that, uh... Uh, that uh, dinosaur uh, diner or whatever they call that so I guess it would have been there for supplying them but now it's going to supply us <laughs> all right back to the club yep. bow down Keep it locked on the lowdown. Alright, well there's a couple more promotion missions. Yeah. Now I was thinking about editing this. Just out because it's really just a trip back to the nightclub at this point. Not really too much to do with the mission, just just driving. <laughs> But maybe not. Maybe we'll talk about what's coming up. I really should, uh, maybe later on or tomorrow. Yeah, maybe soon. Yeah, it'll have to be today because they're going to change over sales again. But I wanted to get my decorations changed while they're still 25% off. Yep. So you guys might want to think about that too. That Monday is today. This when this was released is the last day for those uh, sales. Unless Rockstar continues them or does new ones for it. So sometimes they do. But otherwise, they have 25% off on a lot of sales and on a lot of uh, businesses, I should say. A lot of properties. And I was going to actually get some uh, renovations done. Some uh, different decorations for my office finally fixed. Yep. Maybe get some different lighting for the hangar because I haven't gone back to do that either. So maybe we'll do that for the next one. Have a little discussions with the Zark. 
so you guys will know what's coming up next. Gotta watch out for the NVZs. There's some bad drivers lately, especially lately. <laughs> like really bad NVC drivers lately, and cars just popping in and out sometimes. Strange things. Strange days on the roads of Los Santos. Oh, and that truck does not like to turn. No way. Don't worry, everybody. Champagne's here. <laughs> In time before our new DJ arrives next week here. Coming up. Oh, see what I mean about strange glitches? <laughs> Whoa, the fly egg rear track. What is happening? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so things have been a little odd in the last week or two with this new DLC. Hopefully <laughs> Rockstar fixes some of that. Alright. Uh, Simeon messages us. Not Tony. So I guess that represents the same truck. You can't get into it either. It's blocked off over here. Fantastic! Champagne is gonna flow tonight. Hey, I know it's tacky, but I'm the king attack. I'm gay Tony for God's sake. Tony Prince! That's me. <laughs> yep, that's definitely him. <laughs> here we go. Alright, popularity. Yeah, well that one could have been better. But yeah, I would say I would guess that one to be a mm, third of a bar or so. But Another step closer to our blimp, everybody. <laughs> I guess we're going to be getting one of those, too. So you want 10 of those promotion missions done in order to get the uh, better price on the blimp, which is kind of pricey if you want a blimp. Don't know if you do, but, you know, who doesn't want a blimp, right? Oh, sorry, guys, need a drink. Yep, the mighty blimp. So well, that'll be coming up. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. I am the Miz and Sock. We'll see you again next time for more After Hours content and more in GTA Online. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you again very, very soon. All right. That purple bar just doesn't like staying up for us, does it? Yeah. Driving that truck got me thirsty. Mm. They can have the champagne. <laughs> I'll take the whiskey. <laughs> Take care, everybody.